were they doing defensively that you know, kind of got you guys off your game there in that stretch? Um, I don't think it was necessarily what they did defensively. I think it's what we didn't do offensively. You know, we talked about them um, pressuring the ball and when they're, whoever is off the ball and the help coming over to rally in and try to rake it out. And we talked about pitch outs and, you know, we just didn't execute that tonight. Uh, you know, just to be up seven at halftime and then you guys have been so good in, in late in the games, you know, just to, to not make enough plays defensively and just kind of not be able to pull this one out late. Uh, just what, what's kind of feeling like? I mean, this is a tough pill to swallow, honestly. But you know, one thing that we've talked about all year is that if we turn the ball over so many times, there's no way that we're gonna, you know, win most of those games. Um, I think a few games we've turned it over like 15, 18, and still won. But we can't get comfortable like that. We have to make sure that we get to our goal, which is 12 and under. So I mean, today it felt like every turnover they scored off of it. I don't know how many points they had on turnovers, but it just felt like it was just piling up. And then to have 16 turnovers, we can't do that on the road. Knowing where you guys sit in, in the conference and, and maybe even in NCAA tournament hopes, I mean, how, how frustrating is that knowing maybe you, know, you guys had that half game lead against it tonight? I mean, can't really think about that. I mean, we just talked about the, the loss that we just had tonight. Um, looking ahead, I mean, that's what, that's what we can do, especially coming into this next game. We've got to take it a game at a time and just come in and rally together and become closer. Well, what is it just about you know the environment here? And I know this is your first time here, but traditionally Boise State has struggled here. Uh, what was just about the crowd when they were hitting a couple of those threes? You know, they, they just kind of seemed to grab the momentum from you guys in the second half. Yeah, I, I remember they like went up two and the crowd was going crazy. And we were like, wait, we got to calm down. They only up two. So just trying to have that poise and you know be veterans out there. Trying, and I'm trying to be the best leader that, that I can be on the floor. With, with how well you guys have been doing late in games, I think six and one when it was like four or less with the score. What I know it ended up being six tonight, but uh, you know, just was it? I guess bound to go the other way at some point. You guys were kind of playing with fire, you think, in some of the late game stuff with all these close games, or uh, I wouldn't say that. I just go back to the turnovers. Really, you know, that's what we really hang our hats on. Just trying to take care of the ball, elite ball movers is what we talk about, and you know, we didn't we didn't do that tonight. You guys take a lot of pride in, in kind of the team game and you know somebody always taking their turn down the stretch tonight Chandler scored the last 11 points did you guys just kind of decide to put the ball in his hands or you know because that's fairly unusual for you guys to kind of just only have one person involved down the stretch I well guess. he was he was hot you know and he, he he's the Mount West player of the year and that's who need the ball at the end of the game to take over I told him after the game I said you did everything you could do you know he tried he, he tried to be that player and be that guy and that's what he's supposed to do down the stretch we just didn't execute tonight. How do you guys kind of hold up just one second? Sorry. How do you kind of put this one behind you with, you know, a game Wednesday that now means even more than maybe it would have, you know, before this loss? Well, I mean, we got a quick turnaround, so we definitely have to put it behind us. This bus ride is going to be really long, but, you know, it, it should hurt. And that's, that's, that's the way competition is. You win some, you lose some. But, you know, the ones that hurt, you let them hurt. And that way you have motivation coming into those next games. And, you know, that's the beauty of basketball. We got quick turnarounds. Not like football, you got to wait a whole week or so. You know, so we have to get our minds right, come together even closer, and regroup and refocus and be ready for Wednesday.